So you're not... One of them, I see. Uh, thanks... For saving us, stranger. Thank you. Ah, oh, damn, friend. How did it even come out this way? Well, you're at the final exam now. You'll pass it with flying colors, I know it. When you see the teacher, tell him... Tell him we will survive. Like he taught us.
freeze drifter so we meet again though i bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water my name is olga by the way was it you fighting the master of the forest awesome our hunters had been staying away from him for years damn it sorry teacher the locks all rusted up your friend alyosha is already at the dam he said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train. But they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind. But that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dog. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. And I am stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, people all but stopped coming here. They haven't forgotten. Survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all belong dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit, though it was because of him that the teacher had a better. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burning hours. It was dark already, when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood, you could only see his eyes and teeth. Then, they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were dear. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything. Anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Come morning he was gone. To this church. At first he wouldn't speak to anyone, but us girls kept checking up on him, just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice, and gradually he started speaking to us. Still he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore, though so he'd reply to their letters. And to the rest of us who would keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience, keep them from the 